Hello, this time around checking a really simple guide for NT-Air and how, to, how it works in Azure Lane. Most of the time you don't really have to worry that much about the NT-Air, but once you reach the stages 12 and 13, it starts to make a bit of difference. So here's a really simplified guide on how to use uh, what kind of air anti air guns you should be using and just for reference i will show you a bit of map uh, 13.4 here as an example how it looks like it's quite a lot of blades So I have split the NTR guns for four categories. For BBs, you want to go for the stag. The main reason you want to use that NTR gun is that it gives your battleships hit as well as uh, anti-air. So hit is a uh, good stat to have in BBs. So that's something to good, get a boost out of. And then for the main use, split everything here just based on the efficiency of your ships. So if you're efficiency is below 100 you just want to have some guns that have low reload rate to accelerate the reload rate of your party and in case you have over 100 efficiency just go for the damage these are few of the good guns you, you should go for and then in the special section i have a few guns of course the ultra rare gun is the best of the best you can get but it's a bit of tricky to get because you need the ultra rare prints from the Operation Siren and it's a bit of pain to get those and also you want to prioritize uh, on getting the planes uh, first before going for uh, something more trivial like this and then you have one of the guns that gives also firepower so one option is that if you know that you will not be facing that much air based enemies you can just go for the firepower and roll with that and then there's uh, one more that has really high alpha damage so it once it hits it hits a lot but it should be reserved for uh, ships that have really high aa and efficiency so you can get most of out of it and you shouldn't use uh, too many of these because it has limited other stats so it hits a lot but don't go all in on these As for obtaining these, a lot of them can be gotten through research or gear lab. And sometimes events drop this stuff as well. So keep an your eyes on for the AA stuff, but usually it's not that high priority. So you should be good if you just go uh, whatever you have and then once in a while upgrade a gear or two uh, in case you get stuck somewhere. Uh, probably the worlds 12 and 13 will be the first time you actually need a lot of AA and might be the time that you want to upgrade to some of these. I hope this provided a simplified guide on how to use these anti-air guns and I hope this is useful for you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.